You are listening to 40 Weeks with Vanessa Merton, host of the Pregnancy Podcast. Thank you for tuning in to the 40 Weeks Podcast. Welcome to week five. This week, your poppy seed sized baby has grown to about the size of an apple seed or a peppercorn. They are about 0.05 inches or 0.1 centimeters from crown to rump, so from the top of their head to their bottom. And babies are measured this way from conception until week 20 when they are measured from head to toe because, of course, that's how they will be measured once they are born. While nine months seems like a short time, everything from major organs to fingernails will need to develop from scratch. There is a lot going on in your belly. The cluster of cells that will become your baby's heart has formed, and this week the heart begins to divide in two chambers and beat and pump blood. Your little one looks more like a tadpole right now, and they are growing at a rapid rate. Your little boy or girl is made up of three layers that will form all of the organs and tissues. While the groundwork is being laid for all of the major organs to form, the brain and spinal cord are also beginning to develop. By now, you should have missed your period, which is one of the more obvious indications that you're pregnant. A home pregnancy test will confirm what you may already suspect, that you are going to be having a baby. This will probably create a few different emotions, but definitely celebrate this is going to be an awesome journey. While you should be able to confirm that you are pregnant this week, it will still be a while before anyone would be able to tell that you are pregnant. So enjoy fitting into your favorite jeans while you you can. Are you ready to share your exciting news with the world? A lot of women wait until the end of the first trimester when risks for miscarriage decrease, but ultimately the choice is up to you when you want to make an announcement. Growing a tiny human is exhausting work and you might be wiped out at the end of the day. This is totally normal and take advantage of the excuse to relax and catch up on some extra sleep. This week, if you haven't already, you're going to want to trade in a bottle of wine for a bottle of water and be sure to stay hydrated. It's also a good time to take some items off the menu like unpasteurized foods, think some cheeses and juices, undercooked meat and eggs, and some fish. These can cause foodborne illnesses that harm your baby, and you're better off being on the safe side, so say goodbye to sushi for the next nine months. Also, if you are a cat owner, enlist someone else to clean your litter box. Being around your cat is perfectly fine, but your cat's feces and the sand that they bury it in can contain toxoplasmosis, which is an infection that can get pretty serious for you and your baby. To get up to speed on everything you need to know as soon as you see a positive result on a pregnancy test, check out episode one of the pregnancy podcast appropriately titled I'm Pregnant, Now What? A link for this will be in the show notes and you can find it at pregnancypodcast.com dot com forward slash episode one tip for dad your wife girlfriend or partner is gonna have to cut out any major bad habits as soon as they find out that they're expecting try to be as supportive as possible of that a perk for you is that you get a designated driver for the next nine months but don't take that as a license to go party every weekend make sure that you plan some nights that don't involve alcohol so your significant other doesn't feel left out Thank you so much for tuning in. Show notes for this episode can be found at pregnancypodcast.com forward slash week five. Next week, your baby's face starts to take shape. And until then, I wish you the very best for your pregnancy journey. There are so many awesome resources available to you at PregnancyPodcast.com, and you can sign up with your email address and your due date to get a weekly email with a link to the episode for your specific week every week in your inbox. I look forward to seeing you in the Pregnancy Podcast Facebook group, which is a great place not only to connect with some other parents-to-be, but also to be able to ask questions and get answers specific to things that you are dealing with and planning for your pregnancy and birth.